I'm using stem cells to try and find a therapy for Alzheimer's disease. I'm using stem cells to try to develop a therapy for HIV. I'm using stem cells to find a new therapy for leukemia. Parkinson's disease. Spinal cord injury. Alzheimer's disease. Brain tumors. Blindness. Diabetes. We're at the CERM grantee meeting and we are here to bring our grantees together and provide them the opportunity to meet one another and collaborate. We have an amazing talent pool in California and this meeting brings together the best stem cell scientists in the state. It's an opportunity for us to share our experience of translating research from the bench to the bedside. It's just great to catch up on what's happening because everything is moving so quickly. You come away from a meeting like this with a lot of exciting ideas of what to do with your project that you never thought of before. I love hearing the talks and getting new ideas for directions that my research can go and then frequently I have something that I can bring to the table when I speak to other researchers and it's like a big family really. I think when scientists work together it helps move the science forward faster and I think ultimately that benefits patients and science. From the expertise that our German collaborators already have and the areas in which we've been working we can come together and get therapies into the clinic even faster. What we hope is that in three years we can go to the clinics. By 2015 we're hoping to get this second generation therapeutic into clinical trial. We have identified a lead drug that we want to bring to clinic. So today, our governing board has approved funding of roughly $1 billion, and this is for facilities, for training programs, for career development, and then for research awards, both the fundamental research and the research that's more on a path towards the clinic or in the clinic. Of those, we have 44 projects that comprise roughly $360 million and targets 26 different disease indications. We're giving the patient the tools to fight HIV with their own cells by making their cells resistant to this virus. What we hope to do is develop a product where a person can receive a, essentially a replacement pancreas or a replacement islets for those that are lost in diabetes. When the surgeon goes in and removes the, the main tumor, the surgeon misses all the, all the tumor cells that have infiltrated into the brain. The stem cells can track those down and deliver the chemotherapy directly to the cancer cells. We've got to be ready so that when we go into patients, we're doing this as efficiently and as safely as, as we possibly can because we want to hit a home run the first time. We're all in this together to understand stem cells and move forward with therapies and a lot of progress is being made.